Hi, and welcome back to the garden. It is Wednesday, October 28th. We made it through the freeze. We came right close. We had ice on the windows. We had ice on the cars. But I think the garden... The squash vines show the worst of the frost. Might not have got bit too bad. Here's a real good example of making plans, talking it all the way through, and then when you go to execute, it pouring rain. When we set up the cold frame, I was not expecting it to be in a downpour. I don't know if we did more harm than good. This is a lesson learned. The best laid plans still can go awry. Now let's go take this plastic off. The freeze is over. I want to see if we can't save some of this fall crop. Let's go see what we got. That's how much it rained so far. In spots it caught rain. Made some pools. Looks like it pulled it loose. Hope we didn't crush stuff too bad. Let's get this plastic off of here and see what we got. But our peas did really well. Bok choy got bent just a little bit, radishes. Beets got bent just a little bit with the water. Some of the lettuces got laid down a little bit. These lettuce did fine. The kale came through it great. A couple of these beets got bent down a little bit. Carrots got bent just a little bit. And the radishes did fine. So, all in all, for the fingers going numb in the first 40 minutes of wrestling the plastic in the rainstorm, not getting it as tight as I wanted it, and then the wind coming up and flipping it around, turning it into a swimming pool here and there. I don't think we did so bad. I think this stuff's gonna snap right out of it. We'll take a look at it in a day or two. The string across the top of our coal frame, obviously one of our poles bent in from the weight. I needed to put a guide, post, guide wire on it. You gotta love Oklahoma weather. 70 degrees, light freezing rain, 50 degrees, all in the course of about four or five days. The Swiss chard came through the coldest part of the morning just fine, and so did the unprotected kale. The last two heads of cabbage did just fine, but I expected them to. Everything we did here was to try to extend our growing season. Sometimes it works, sometimes not so good. I'm not horribly disappointed in the results. I've definitely seen some areas that could use some improvement. The idea was sound. I believe we saved most all the fall crop. Some of it is a little squished, but I think that'll be just fine. Every year I've tried to become a little better, and now that you're on this journey with me, we planted the fall garden. We're trying to extend our growing season. The one good thing about harvesting all those green tomatoes the other night, I get to make chow chow. Stay tuned for that episode. If you want to see how we chose what to plant for the fall garden, click these two videos, and I'll see you in the garden. And as always, God bless you and I'll see you later. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.